Hi there, and welcome back to Dare to Call Him Friend. And today we're going to talk about how important it is for fruit to stay on the vine or on the tree as long as it possibly can because we all know just how yummy fruit that stays on that vine tastes. And I had a really good example of that when I was working with youth with a mission. I was part of a special team in Oahu where we were ministering to Japanese elderly people of all people. Anyhow, my friend and I were billeted with a Japanese American older woman who spoiled us just, I mean, unbelievably so. Every morning, Lynn would get up and serve us a gorgeous breakfast because she knew she wouldn't see us until quite late in the day. And when she discovered how much we liked the fresh fruit, she made sure that we had a big selection every morning. And my favorite was pomelo. Pomelo is not a fruit that is common to Canada at all. I had never even heard of it. But one bite of that and I was hooked. Juicy and a little bit tangy, a little bit sweet, kind of reminded me of a sweet grapefruit with a tangy taste to it. It had a really thick rind, but once you peeled back that rind, you were in for a treat. Well, let's move ahead quite a few decades, and I happened to be in a local superstore and saw at the storefront a bin of pomelos because it was close to the Chinese New Year. I looked at them and I went, oh my gosh. I told my friend my story of Lynn. I grabbed one of the pomelos that was carefully wrapped in a green mesh bag to make sure that it wouldn't get bruised in the shipment and I could hardly wait to get home. So when I got home, I knew what I was going to have to do, so I got out a good knife and my cutting board and made sure that the ridges were facing up to capture all the juices and I started to slice into the thing. Remember the peel was kind of thick, so I was expecting that. But when I got to the actual fruit, it was dried. And there was nothing but the sinewy fiber that you would find in any citrus fruit once all the juice is gone. I was disappointed, to put it mildly, but I was immediately reminded of this Bible verse, John 15, verse 5 to 8. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abides in me and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, he is thrown away like a branch and withers. And the branches are gathered, thrown into the fire and burned. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. By this my Father is glorified that you bear much fruit and so prove to be my disciples. That pomelo probably traveled, of course it did it, traveled thousands of miles from the tree that it was plucked from before it was completely ripe until it arrived in the chilly climate of north central Alberta. Jesus invites me to abide in him and not to tear myself away from him. If I step away from that intimate connection with him, I do wither in my spirit. I might have all the wrappings. I might have an unblemished facade and I might even have an enticing evangelical message like the sign above that bin of pomelos that drew me right to them. But if I don't remain on the vine, I will have nothing to give. I will dry up. If I stay in close relationship with him, however, 
I'll bear a bumper crop for his kingdom and all the nutrients that I need to live a vibrant, healthy life that would bear much fruit is found in him.